All right, good evening, guys. Um, just got finished filming the unboxing of the Kentucky Long Rifle, and I figured I'd show you guys how the lock works inside of it. Now, this is a percussion cap rifle. It's not a flint lock. So, instead of putting a hard rock on this hammer here, and the hammer striking a striker plate, and then the sparks going into the frizzen, and then the powder in the frizzen striking the powder in the barrel, and that's how the bullet is rejected. Uh, that's a flint lock. This is a percussion cap. So, this hammer, I'll turn around for you, this is what you'd be seeing on the outside of the gun. This hammer is pulled back, and a cap is loaded right here, the barrel, and when you pull the trigger, this cap is, or this uh, hammer rather, is flung forward and hits that percussion cap. The cap goes off and it has enough uh, explosive force behind it to ignite the powder in the barrel and the projectile is sent out of the barrel. So this is how the actual mechanism works. So as you're pulling this lock back, it's kind of hard to pull back. You can see this piece here rotating. I'm not going to do it because I don't have a trigger into it, but that little, this piece right here, oops, sorry, right here is what is attached to the trigger. And when you pull the trigger, this is pushed up. You can see it moving down there at the bottom as it moves away. So, this first notch here is what's called half cock. Now half cock is basically your safety. Half cock, the hammer would probably be about here. And the trigger cannot be pulled with that half cock. Um, and the reason it can't be pulled is if you look here, in this first little indention, you can see there's a little lip right right there. And when this bar goes in that lip, this here can't be pushed up. It can't be pushed up because this piece can't go down because it's in that lip. So the only way to get it out of half cock is to pull the hammer backwards and then push pull the trigger backwards and then they can go down. Now to go to full cock, you'd pull it all the way back to where the hammer would probably be right around in here. And the trigger figure it out of the way. The trigger will be in this area here. And you see there's a slope there so that when this is this is pushed upwards, that is pushed downwards and then it slips out and this tensioning uh, spring here forces this little rotator piece down which also forces the hammer onto the percussion cap and the percussion cap explodes sending uh, a small explosion down the barrel or down the this section of the barrel that would lay right here then it ignites the powder, and the force pushes the projectile out of the barrel. So that's the basics of how a percussion cap lock works. Um, very simple. So just want to make sure a little video showing you guys how it works so you can become more familiar with your weapon. Alright, catch you guys next week.